Shalom family, just coming on really quickly to talk to you guys about a thought that I was having, right? I really feel like it's high time for us to understand our impact. And what I mean is we don't have to determine the worth of our businesses, our companies, our items, our lives, our fashion, our our culture, our anything. Um, we don't have to get the basis and the worth of that by comparing it to something that's so inferior. And I feel like if you're my people, then you are understanding and understanding what I'm saying right now. We are the ones who determine what's cool. We are the ones that determine the standard. The only thing that makes anything else seem like it's something is the fact that we want it. We have to remember that it is us that sets the standard. It is us that determines what is cool, what is not, what's in, what's out. And the only thing that makes a lot of these other things even relevant is the fact that we keep it relevant. Is the fact that we feel like we are not doing anything unless we have an equivalent to something that is inferior. There is no equivalent. We will never be equal. You can never be equal to something that's less than you are. And that's not a knock. Per se, this is just encouragement to my people. We are the ones who set these standards. If we are not out here running behind um, this uh, so-called liberation and independence, we would have husbands in our homes. We would have our sons. We would have our daughters. But because we were envious or we were able to be um, beguiled into the thought of you need independence. You, why do you have to be at home cooking and cleaning and taking care of your children when you could be out working? Yeah, you could be out with a job. You can be your own woman. Yeah, you can do that. So that's what we started doing, right? And now we're the very ones who are out here alone. Because that's what independence is. You're self-sufficient. You're on your own, sis. Mm -hmm. I want you to let it sink in. See, this is the way it happens. Because we start to place value according to what someone else sees as valuable. When really, we already had the treasure. We already had the keys. We already had the doors. But we allowed onlookers to tell us about what key fits best in a lock that's on our door. How do we let that happen? How? So like I said, without us, there is nothing. I like literally, I'm saying all this to say, we have to learn how to rally around our people and support our people. Because our people, our community, our neighbors, they matter. They matter, literally. Oh, I want to support, but I can't. Ain't no good customer service. They not punctual. They not this. They not that. And for the ones who are not, get your act together. Because you have brothers and sisters who say they want to support you. So find yourself in a in a realm that that creates a situation that makes you easy to support. Not where they have to, you know what I'm saying, spite themselves or just out of principle support you. No. Do what's right because everyone's watching us because... They know we have the key. They know that we are the key, so to speak. Because we have things in us that are literally just woven into our everyday makeup and DNA. So we have to be the ones to set the standard. And it's not according to something that somebody else thinks or has to say. At all. Your skin is beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. Your face is beautiful. You don't need war paint or disguise or a mask. You're gorgeous. You determine what beauty is. If it weren't for you, sis, there would be no gynecology. If it weren't for you, sis, there would be no hair industry. If it weren't for you, sis, there would be no industry for makeup. There would be none of these things because all of this stuff came about because people were trying to be us. Right? There would be no plastic surgery if it weren't for you because people have a plastic surgery to look like you. I want you to realize this. Literally, there would be a, there would not be a lot of these things if it weren't for you. 
Yeah. So it's not going to be until we realize that we set the tone, we set the standard, and there's nobody for us to follow but y'all. The Most High is the only one that we're supposed to be following. That's it because he's telling us how to live because all that stuff that we consider, oh, that's um, that's that rabbit food or that's what them other people eat. Why? Why is that? The, why is it everything that's good for us? We be like, oh, as soon as you start, excuse me, y'all, as soon as you start eating well, oh, that's that, that's that, what you call it, people stuff. No, it's not. The only reason people know anything about anything is because they took it from us in our books, right? I hope that you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. We set the standard and it is literally up to us. And it's the reason why the scriptures say what they say. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, seek my face, pray, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, their transgressions, and then heal their land. We are literally the answer. We are. We have to do what the word of the Most High tells us to do. Because once we do, not everybody, just the people that's called by his name. Raya, you, it's up to us. It's up to us. Call your name. Put your input, your name there. It's up to you. You have to do it. And once you do, you will see the results. Thus said the Bible. And I believe what the Most High says. So be encouraged, sis. Be encouraged. This is not, this, I, this is supposed to be edifying. <laughs> so I hope it doesn't come off like a rant or like I'm fussing. But because I'm not, you know, we are the answer. And we have to do what thus saith y'all. We have to. That's the only way that any of this is going to work out. Literally. Because we know that all things work together for the good of them who love y'all, who are called according to his purpose. All things work together for you. And we know what love is to love Yah is to keep his commandments. So if you're a commandment keeper, you loving Yah. And because you're doing that, it's going to work out for you. It's going to work out for you. All praises to the most high. So be encouraged. And remember, you set the standard because the rules, regulations were already laid out for you. So with that being stated, I hope you have an amazing day. I love you. Shalom.